Hey guys, what's up? Wolfster Dude here, and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make your very own Spigot Minecraft server. Now, Spigot allows you to run plugins on your server, and plugins just basically add more commands and basically make your server much better. So, let's get started. First, you want to go to getbucket.org. Once you're there, go to Spigot and download whatever version you want. I'd recommend 1.11 because that's what most plugins run on. Then press download. Once it's finished downloading, make a new folder on your desktop and rename it to server. You could call it spigot server, it doesn't really matter. Now drag in your spigot uh, jar you downloaded from getbucket.page. Now, open text edit and paste in this command. I'll leave it in the description. Make sure that part there is the same as the name and the gigabytes is how much you want to set it to. The more RAM, the more the faster your server goes and the more plugins you can hold. So you want to save it as start dot command. You'll notice that most things in this tutorial are the same as my last tutorial. This is because making server is servers are quite the same. Oh, I forgot to save it to my desktop. Then drag it into your folder. Just going to clean it up and start your server. This will come up. It's the same as what I did in the last tutorial. All you have to do is go chmod a plus x space and drag in the start command and just hit enter. Now you can close out that, start up your server and let it load. As you can see we need to agree to the Euler again. So we'll go into the Euler and change it to true. You might notice that I haven't downloaded build tools from the um, uh, the real spigot page. This is because I don't really like build tools and I know lots of other people don't like build tools as well so this tutorial is how to do it without using build tools. Now it's finished loading you can see that you have lots of different things inside your server folder. You even have a plugins thing. To add plugins you can stop your server or you can just put the plugin in there. For this tutorial I'll be using Essentials because Essentials is one of the best plugins, almost every single server has it. Now you can reload your server and it will update to having Essentials and you can see it's even made a folder. Now I'm not going to go over those today because I'll do another Essentials tutorial. So now you can go to your Java or your Minecraft hit multiplayer, go through localhost and once the server's loaded you can do slash gmc which isn't a command on vanilla minecraft apparently I don't have access to that, do you remember that from the last video? you need to go to your server control type op wolfsadude now you can do GMC, which is short for Game Mode Creative, um, which basically that's what Essentials does. Essentials, so you can do slash day, slash night. It just basically what plugins do is they can do almost anything. You can just go to Spigot website and there's tons of plugins on there. Bucket website, there's tons of plugins. There's plugins everywhere. So that's what... Um, Essentials does, and this is how to make an essential server. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.